guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a wonderful day today we're building the house for the family that i made yesterday the foster family um so it's a pretty big house it's got like seven bedrooms uh, which and it took ages to furnish um which you'll see on the video link length i can't talk wow <laughs> well, you'll see that on the video link it's like 34 minutes this one so it's crazy long crazy long build and it's gonna be a crazy long voiceover and it's just uh i haven't done like a long long voiceover since like actually i did one the other day for my big family apartment but <laughs> other than that i haven't done one since since i went to denmark um so yeah but it's fine i'm trying to pre-record a little bit just a little because i still want to do like uh suggestions that you've just made so it doesn't get like because some of the ones I've got before I went to Denmark, I, I had to wait like a month until I could show you guys. And it's just, or I've been having to wait like a month before I could show you guys because um, I pre-recorded so much before I went to Denmark. So, but I just wanted to make sure that the channel had some life on it while I was gone. And also if I got some huge job on the way back, um, that there would be a few videos after I came back as well. So anyways, I just want to say about this build, it's going to take ages to make the exterior of the building because for some reason I was stupid and thought it was a good idea if I made this build um, a base game <laughs> but why would I make a foster home base game because that means I can't use the parenthood game pack and the parenthood game pack has so many good items in it like clutter to glut clutter glutter to clutter up um, children's rooms or teens room Z uh, teens rooms I'm trying to speak English today and it's just not going well <laughs> um, so yeah, it would be pretty stupid to do that. So I ch changed the exterior so many times. Um, you'll see that on the, not just the painting, but also the pillars. Maybe also the fence, I'm not sure, but it took me quite a while. Also cause I built this and then I hated it. Like I just hated the exterior. So I left it, I let it be for like one or two days, I think maybe. Maybe even longer than that, maybe like four days. I don't know. And then I came back to it. I was just like, no. We're making this everything. We're not just making a base game because <laughs> that's just dumb. Um, I'll I'll make another. I'll make an actual base game family house at some point. Just not this one because I wanted it to have life. I think I may have forgotten railing up the stairs. Come to think of it, which is probably a little stupid when it's got s rooms for so many children. Um, um, yeah, I might have forgotten that, so you have to put that in yourselves. <laughs> Whoops. But this can be downloaded off the gallery, which I'll also say at the end of the video. But anyways, this can be downloaded off the gallery. It's gonna be called the Foster Home. Yes, Foster Home. I'm pretty sure I called it Foster Home. Um, I spilled this, like, before I went to Denmark. So I finished it before I went to Denmark, so... Um, but I figured I wanted to wait with the voiceover until I had build build <laughs> made the family i made the family afterwards um so just so you guys know i may not remember everything that i did <laughs> but yeah the it'll fit the family from yesterday so it'll have a parents bedroom for everett and hugo and it'll have three teen bedrooms two children bedrooms and one toddler bedroom and the toddler bedroom is like insanely small <laughs> but yeah i'm trying to pre-record a little bit these days because i have been super stupid and i was my my boyfriend asked me if i wanted to go out and buy him a shirt today because he didn't want to do laundry <laughs> which i don't blame him for <laughs> but um so we went out to have he needed one for his gig tonight uh, so we went out to buy him a shirt and I got a work mail on the way or work email on the way out and they asked me if I could do this job that was like 117 words and I thought 117 words that's not a lot so sure I'll have that ready for you like I can have it ready for you for later today um, so I said yes <laughs> without reading the entire mail and then I came back <laughs> I came back, sat down. I got two more work emails, by the way. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm a translator, by the way. And I'm the, the way that it works is that I'm freelance, technically. So they ask me if I want to work. They don't require it. But it's stupid to say no because you'll lose, like... Um, say that I work a lot. I do a lot of... Uh, I translate manuals primarily. Uh, sometimes advertisements, stuff like that. But primarily manuals for medicinal... 
<laughs> devices, which is stupid because I know nothing about medicine, but it's fine. <laughs> don't you worry. You're, you, they, you'll know how to use your equipment. Don't you worry. Um, but so the way that it works is that you're signed up with a company and then they'll send you work because they have like they deal with the clients and stuff like that. So um, also because it's Italian and they kind of want to avoid paying uh, like through healthcare and stuff for their workers so the way so the way they do it is they make us freelance so they don't have to but that's just how it is but um yeah so they sent me three jobs today and I say yes to all of them one is like five they said it was five thousand but it turned out to be ten thousand words and then another one which is easy I just had to copy paste a lot <laughs> and then um this job of 117 words I, I know I'm terrible at telling stories by the way but um I read the mail, I said yes, and then I, well, I didn't read the entire thing, but I said yes, and then I came home, read the entire mail, and somehow I've managed to say yes to a job of 50,000 words, which is a lot of work, like a lot, like like a lot, lot. <laughs> um, you can see like, like one day's work is 2,400 words, so you can do the math and figure out how much, how many days 50,000 words is. It's insane. It's like a crazy, crazy amount of work. So I'll be busy with that. If, if it goes through and they send it to me, I'll be busy with that for quite a while, like a whole month. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to pre-record just a little bit, but I still want to do uh, suggestions that are like new that you just sent me. So it won't be like, like it is right now because um, of the Denmark trip I had. I just, I like, I really love your suggestions and I'm so happy that you send them to me and I really want to like do them properly and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'm just trying to keep ahead of my schedule because of that job. I'm very nervous. It's the first job I got myself because I used to, I used to work with my supervisor. I am like, I'm very new to the, well, not very new. I've been working with this for like, two three something like that two three years <laughs> i don't know i'm still i'm still new is my point um but i've been working with my supervisor and she's still my supervisor but uh we had one job last year which was like 10 20 000. i know this is super interesting you're welcome <laughs> it was like twenty thousand words each so that's the biggest i've had 50,000 is crazy, but yeah, anyways, we're probably, I'm, I'm just, I just wanted to tell you guys because, um, you'll probably notice that a lot of it, a lot of the stuff on my channel will be pre-recorded again, but I'm also going to try to, um, stay to apartment bills because they're faster to do, uh, or just smaller houses at least, so... Because when I do, when I get these kind of jobs, it's like you work from like 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. It's it's crazy. It's very, very um, intense. So, but it's fine. It's it's fine. I'm going to earn a lot of money. <laughs> I honestly, I'm not the kind of person who just wants to get a lot of money. I just, um, I'm fine with just having enough for rent and food, honestly. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to look at like this. I can buy my boyfriend in an Xbox. And I can buy my family Christmas presents. So that's awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with that. But yeah, for the build. We're doing the kitchen. I'm pretty sure I'm done with it in just a second. But I wanted it to be big and open so that the family could sit here and eat dinner at 6.30 every day. Because that's the kind of family that they are. Everett is the writer guy. The writer dad who stays at home uh, and writes books. And he's probably, he's going to be very good cook, I think. I don't, I'm not going to make a let's play. I just wanted to give them some character. <laughs> um, but he's going to write uh, books and probably be a good cook. And I imagine that he'd have dinner ready at 6.30 every day. So when Hugo comes home from his very, very busy job, uh, he'll have dinner ready for him and the kids as well. Uh, so yeah, I tried to make it open and stuff like that. I found a lot of stuff in the debug catalog, uh, like the plates and the cutting board and also the two flagons that were on the counter so it looks a little bit more lived in and homey to me but yeah and this is the living room um this built oh, sorry i just nudged my table it kind of hurt <laughs> this built overall is very cluttered like it's 
I just really wanted it to look homey. <laughs> and homey to me is homey. It sounds so weird, cause like, yo homey, um, I'm gangsta. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really not gangsta. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just, it sounds weird, but homey, that's a word, right? I think so, like H-O-M-E-Y, homie. Uh, but when you clutter it up, in my opinion, it looks a lot more like realistic. Oh, whoops, whatever, you didn't see that. Um, <laughs> and uh, homie, so a lot more lived in is what I mean to say. So it is quite cluttered and it's gonna be a lot of toys and a lot of stuff from the parent of game pack because you guys know how I feel about that game pack. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I hope that we'll get another stuff pack soon because we really need more new stuff. I I use the same stuff over and over again. I need new kitchen counters that <laughs> aren't <laughs> that are versatile, like like the ones that we got from the parent of game pack. It's they're so amazing. I use them too much. Tell me if I use them too much. Like if you want me to use something else, just not the base game counters because I don't like them. I'm just saying, not the base game counters. I do not like them. <laughs> uh, you know the ones that sort of look modern, um, like the very very simple ones that look kind of modern. I just I don't like them. They have no texture on them. I don't know why they didn't put any texture on them. I know it's supposed to look like plastic or something, but. I'm, well, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to look. I just, I don't like it, so. Um, I rarely ever use those, but they do have a lot of colors, so, so that's a good thing. Uh, I'm again, not talking about the build itself, just talking about everything else, because you know how, you guys know how it is, but yeah. <laughs> um, also, I only had two rooms that, like, common area rooms, common rooms, like, where they all could be. The rest of the house is just rooms, bedrooms. Um, so there's only room for that one computer in the common area, and that's why a lot of the kids actually have TVs or computers in their own rooms, which is a little bit weird, I guess, but, I mean, a lot of kids nowadays have, like, laptops themselves or stuff like that, so... Um, it's as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. Um, <laughs> I know I had, I had my laptop when I was a kid, so. And that's a while ago, so I suppose that it's the same. At least for the families that can afford it, but yeah. This is the musician's room, it's Tanya's room, and I love it. It's probably my closest to what I would want to live in. Um, but that's mainly also because of the music instruments. <laughs> I love to play music. Or just say I don't actually play music much these days because I just I don't have the time with everything and also the neighbors can hear it and I have stage fright <laughs> um, so yeah but I do sing a lot though still still do but so this will probably be like the room that I myself will live in it's got a lot of plans as well I feel like one of the room I felt like one of the room had to have plans in it and it had to be one of the the teens rooms and I didn't think Lauren the gamer girl, um, I hate that term, gamer girl, <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, uh, I didn't think it would fit her room because, I don't know why, <laughs> I just didn't think so, <laughs> it would probably fit, um, Nicolette's room, he's the painter thing, uh, did I say I put up the cast video yesterday, maybe not, I don't remember, but in case I didn't, I put up the cast video yesterday, there you go, <laughs> so you'll, can you, you, you'll, <laughs> you can see, um, the two parents and also, uh, the six kids they have in the cast video yesterday, and I do talk a little bit about them, I do tell you guys what they like to do, and hopefully you can see a bit more about the personalities by looking at the rooms today. Uh, I was hoping, yeah, I was hoping that would go through. It was, um, or that would shine through. <laughs> but I don't know how to say that. What? Um, but yeah, this was requested, by the way. So um, if you want to see more families or family house, like specific family houses, like the foster home, um, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will have a look at it. Just not like huge families like i said i do not i do not have time i have like one prepared as well that's a pretty big build but besides that i just don't have time to not not unless like from a, in a month from now i can do bigger builds again but right now i just need to stick to smaller stuff and um work so yeah that's just how it is unfortunately because I'm, I'm gonna miss my mansions i like my mansions um i don't know i just like i don't know it just yeah. I like big houses. <laughs> I like building big houses. I don't actually want to live in a big house myself. I feel like... Because I lived in a... 
like not like a huge house when I was a kid but we were only me and my dad for a long while because my sisters are a little bit older than I am so they moved out quite quickly <laughs> when I was a kid um, and then my brother lived up with my mom my parents are divorced but my brother lived with my mom so it was basically just me and my dad and our dog in this huge was well, not it wasn't huge but it was a bigger house it was like three stories with rooms and stuff um, but it was just I was home a lot and it was just creepy I was ugh, I didn't like it also because it was filled with spiders oh it was an old house so like from 1907 or something <laughs> no, I think it's like from 1902 actually it was a very old house um but yeah I just I don't like it I don't I've never been a big fan of big houses to live in like no too many rooms too many rooms that people can hide in I don't know I'm just paranoid <laughs> I know I'm just paranoid but I don't like it <laughs> um also because they, like this house, just my old house, it just made sounds and stuff like that. I just no. When you're home alone and you're a teenager, or well, I did. I wasn't home alone when I was a kid. Obviously, I was a teenager, but um, of course, my dad wouldn't leave me home alone when I was a kid. <laughs> um, that would be that would be reckless. So uh, it was just I didn't like it. I I don't know. I'm not like I'm a pretty tough when it comes to that. Like I'll, I'll happily be home alone in the dark watching horror movies, but. This house was just a little bit creepy. I, I can't put my finger on it. It was just a little bit creepy. Like, you know those houses when you go... Well, it wasn't like this, but... You know those houses you get... You do, um, okay, how do I say this? My mom had a house. My mom's been moving around a lot when I was younger. My mom moved around a lot when I was younger. She had this house in northern Jutland in Denmark. Uh, and... I always got this weird feeling when it was like open, like had big windows and stuff like that, which is, so it was bright and stuff. But I always had this weird feeling when I walked into it, like it was haunted. I always felt like it was haunted. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I just started something and now I'm just seeing where it goes, but I just always felt like it was haunted and it's just weird. Do you guys have it like that with some houses as well? I don't, it's just, it's strange. Like you just feel like there is something there. I remember at some point, because I was pretty young when this, when this, uh, when she lived up there, um, she had both that house and then the apartment in my home city. Uh, so I must have been like nine, maybe 10, 12, something like nine to 12. I don't exactly remember. Uh, but she had this like bench with magazines in them. Uh, I, <laughs> I was a weird kid, okay? I liked reading about... <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I I like watching horror movies and I liked reading stories <laughs> about serial killers. Please don't judge me. I'm completely normal. Okay. I'm well, I'm kind of weird, but I'm just, don't don't judge me. I do not have a obsession with serial killers whatsoever. I just liked reading the stories cuz when I was a kid, I thought they were just like stories. Like I didn't realize they were real. Uh, which is completely messed up, by the way. But anyways, I, like the story is completely messed up. Um, but she had these these magazines with like recipes and stuff, and they always had like a like a serial killer story in them, and she had them hidden in a bench. And I remember at some point I was trying to reach for some like for one, and I just felt this like there was this woman standing behind me. I don't know. It was so creepy. Uh, uh, have you guys ever experienced that? Like I don't believe in ghosts, by the way, like at all. But I just had this. Only I've only ever experienced it. Oh, complaint. Okay, I've only ever experienced it in, in this house, and it's so strange. I just I don't know why did I start talking about ghosts? I don't know. This is a parents' bedroom. Let's just talk about the build again. This is a parents' bedroom, and they do have a lot of. Uh, I wish I put in a bookshelf at some point. I I mean I wish I put put pushed. <laughs> I wish I put in a bookshelf, but. Uh, to me, it, I wish we could use those, you know, those books that are like, um, from the base game, you can see them there. I wish we could use those as a bookshelf. That would be pretty cool, because then you could place them, like, on shelves here and there around the house, and they could pick off, like, like, um, pretend like they're picking off a book, book, <laughs> a book from that pile of books, and then read that. That would be awesome. That would be great, but unfortunately it didn't work like that but I placed a lot of books on those two shelves in their room so because Everett is a uh, he's a writer so I felt like they had to have some kind of books like some way <laughs> and this is Nicholas room and he's the painter guy I realized I completely talked over um <laughs> what's her name the little girl uh Maggie I think yeah Maggie girl Maggie Maggie girl um 
the little sporty girl, the wild girl. I realized I talked over her house, the room, but you know, I'm just stumbling upon words like crazy right now. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this is Nicola's room and he's a painter. He wants to be a painter at least. He's still a teenager, so. Um, I love that bed swatch. I don't know what it is. I, it's not very pretty, but I just like it. <laughs> I have a thing for orange and blue, I guess. I don't know. I, I hate colors. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> I just, I don't like wearing colors and I would not like living in a very colorful house. But when I build in games or uh, just play other games, I like making my characters as colorful as possible. I just, I don't know why it's strange. It's like whatever, whatever I can't have in real life, whatever I don't want to do in real life, I just like doing it in games. <laughs> That came off wrong. Again with the serial killer stuff. I mean, I know I have a let's play going that's called Let's Kill Some Sims. I d Rick, this is getting weird. Um, I swear I have no issues. Okay, I'm completely fine well, regarding that. Okay, I should probably start this voiceover and start over, but I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, his room is a very cluttered as well. And he has a lot of canvas and I love that garage door. I hope you can paint on it. I think you can. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I never, I, I've never used it before. Not even in my own personal builds. I don't think I have, but I think you can paint on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see any other like, purpose with it. So I think it's because you can paint on it. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also d under the activities and skills uh, section of build and buy. So I think so. But if it doesn't work, put in a mural, mural, Mur mural mural thing instead. I've only used those before, uh, the murals, uh, which I put in an apartment, I think. Because I like placing, normally I like placing easels on like terraces or patios. I don't know why, Just, I do. Or like if it's in an apartment, I like placing them in front of some kind of window because <laughs> then I pretend like, okay, the sim is standing here looking out over the, uh, the view and getting inspiration from that. So I do that, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But this is Lauren's room. I know it's not as pastel as she herself is dressed and her hair is crazy and I love it. But um, I just, I wanted it to be a little bit wild. So it has this bunny, I'm sorry, I just kind of <laughs> uh, drank too much Coke. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but um, I know it has this wild color scheme. Like also I've used those banners you just saw. I've used those in basically every children's room. But the swatches for the swatch for um, the controller thing was green and uh, pink, and it just did not work well. So I chose to to use the one with the rainbow on it instead. So I figured rainbows have something to do with fantasy. I mean, maybe that's just me, but I think of fantasy when I see rainbow or cute. <laughs> um, so I used this instead. So you can sort of like pretend like she has those hanging because she likes to play a lot of fantasy computer games, right? That kind of works. And she has a plump up poster because Sims. Um, and I love those suitcases, I don't know. Also, isn't it funny, those suitcases match, oh, not completely actually. Never mind, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> and I've used a lot of those My Sims figure models as well. I just, they're funny and they're child friendly and teen friendly and I think they're awesome also because I when I made this room I kind of <laughs> wanted <laughs> I kind of wanted Lauren to look a little bit like the one that's next to her bed but then when I was making the cast I built I built the I built the house before I made the cast but when when I made the cast I was just like no she's gonna be total pastel <laughs> I don't know why I just just wanted her to be pastel um it's just yeah <laughs> it's, it's fine <laughs> I have a thing for pastel these days. You'll probably see it on my apartments and like if I do any room builds you'll see it as well or Kaz, future Kaz videos. Um, I just have a thing for pastel. You can also see it on my thumbnails like since I changed my thumbnail style a while back I've been going crazy with the colors but I honestly love it. I just it's I don't know it's uh, a lot more graphic is that what you call it or is that something completely different like when you watch an R-rated movie. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> um, it's very. Um, oh no, it's just very more colorful. Very more colorful. My English is 
great day. My English is just amazing, like any other day. I should be better at speaking English because I speak English every day because I live in Scotland, so I should be better. But it's just I start as soon as I start doing a voiceover, it's like everything, everything that I know just goes out. My, goes out of my head. I just forget it. Like it's just gone. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on the on the stage fright though. So it's like also sometimes when I do these voiceovers and um, I don't. This is by the way. This is Adam's room. The geek. I just wanted to say that he has a lot of like uh, what are those called? Like the poke the the Sims version of Pokemon. <laughs> They're called something, I just don't remember what. Void Critters, I think. Yeah, he has a lot of those um, around, like posters with that ar around, if I'm not mistaken. And also a few cards. I think I think I placed down a card, so a few cards from the debug catalog. You can get a lot of funny stuff in the debug catalog, I'm just saying. I don't remember exactly what the G is called, but you can find it if you Google Sims 4 cheat codes. <laughs> It'll be right there. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, what was he talking about? I don't actually remember now. Oh yeah, stage fright. Sometimes when I do these voiceovers, I just kind of black out. <laughs> so I have to listen through it afterwards like, what was I talking about? Because I literally don't remember. It's just, it's weird. And I should also slow down because I have this, I, it's like my, my, I'm not made to speak English because I'm Danish. Um, we have two totally different way, ways of speaking. If you haven't heard Danish before, it sounds like we're speaking with potatoes in our mouths. And also, our, our um, when English speaking people usually speak through their noses, while Danes speak from the throat, <laughs> which I know sounds weird, but if you know anything about tone, um, the singers of you, if, you could, if there are any singers listening right now, you probably know what I'm talking about, but tone, uh, an English speaking person's tone is often through the nose while a Danish person's tone comes from the throat So it's just it's not natural to me to speak <laughs> English and um, I Should probably slow down a little bit because I stumble upon words and stuff like that, but it's fine. Whatever <laughs> It's fine. This is Levi's room by the way. He's a little toddler. He's a charmer and I put him in this tiny room <laughs> because I didn't have any space left. <laughs> As you can see, I'm desperately trying to fit in toys for him, but it's just difficult. I hope, I haven't actually had time to check if everything is functional in this house, but it should be, because I do feel like I have like a fair grasp of how much space the Sims need to get from one point to the other by now. Um, so everything should be fine, I hope. They may have problems playing two people, uh, like if he wants to play with the dollhouse with the, like with a grown-up or something I, they may have trouble with that but whatever then you just um, don't play two people with the doll dollhouse <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> um, and also cluttered up this place like crazy I hope you can still use that teddy bear those I know those shelves are kind of problematic because if you place a chair down down uh, under down under underneath one of those shelves you can't actually sit in it which is kind of weird i don't get why you can place shelves and then chairs underneath the shelves like it's fine it should be fine but you just can't sit on in the chair like how is that logical how is it logical i don't know um i really want some shelves in this room but i i don't dare ask my boyfriend if i can put up shelves <laughs> i want to have like um, shelves with, like, I have some pop figures, if you guys know what that is. Like, I have a minion and a Deadpool and a Flash, uh, and I want more of them, if I can afford them. <laughs> I don't know if they're a little bit pricey, but I want more of them, and then I want shelves so I can place them on the shelves. And I want some fairy lights for this room, but I'm pretty sure that <laughs> he wouldn't let me. It's not my house, it's his house, so. <laughs> um, I just kind of took over it. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't actually done anything with it, to be honest. I go crazy during December though. <laughs> um, I love, I love Christmas. I love decorating. Uh, for Christmas, it's, I spent so much money last Christmas <laughs> on decorations because I didn't have any. Um, I left all mine in Denmark when I moved and I just needed, I needed the house. Obviously my apartment was a lot smaller than this house. Um, so I needed a lot more <laughs> decorations that I that I used to have <laughs> and um, but it was nice the house turned out really beautiful uh, with a lot of fairy lights because I love fairy lights I think they're very cozy I think they're very Christmas like so 
I placed a lot of those around, but um, <laughs> I really want some for this room because it would be very nice. And um, I promise you guys, by the way, because some of you, oh, by the way, if you're still listening to this voiceover, which I, I won't judge you if you've already quit it, by the way, because <laughs> I know I talk about weird stuff. Um, if you're still what, listening to this voiceover, say hi potato in the comment section below. I did this for, um, what was it, the roomies apartment? Like a couple weeks ago, I think, or it came out while I was, it went live when I was in Denmark, I think, so it must have been a couple weeks ago. And I forgot that I said, I told people to, to write hi Rosa, <laughs> if you we were still listening to the voiceover, and suddenly when I was, uh, I was sitting, because I worked a lot when I was in Denmark, which was just, whatever. Um, so I was sitting there working and suddenly I just got a lot of like, Hi Rosa comments and I was just like, what's going on? <laughs> I was like, what? What? What's going on? Because I literally have, I haven't had my name listed anywhere on YouTube as as well. So, it's I'm not keeping it a secret. Like I don't care if you know my name. <laughs> um, you can know my name. It's actually more personal if you know my name. But I just, it was a little bit weird because I completely forgot. So I was like, okay, I gotta listen through this video. What what did I say? That's what I mean. Like, that's what I, 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 I'm telling you guys. I black out. I just don't remember. <laughs> but if you're still listening to this, say hi potato. Just write hi potato. Because, you know, we guys love potatoes. Oh, whoops. I'm actually the table again. I'm sorry. I made this uh, little patio because I thought it was, it was so cute. Um, and use the, um, what are they called? Fairy lights, yeah, fairy lights. I just, I was just talking about them like two minutes ago. Okay, um, the fairy lights, like I used them in my Parkway villa. Um, I'll try to link you guys to that one if you wanna see it, but, uh, cause I just, I, it gives it like a really cozy vibe, in my opinion. Also, I don't know if you noticed, you probably haven't. <laughs> I chose not to place any candles anywhere in this build, like open candles because children and candles are no go. See, me being all responsible, not placing candles. I, I know nothing can happen from it because it's a game, but um, I almost forgot to fix that roof, by the way. And I know the, the the roof on the patio doesn't have the right tiles on it, but I fixed that for uh, the uploads. Don't worry about that. They'll, they'll look completely normal. And I believe we're going into screenshots in just a second. So if I was about to say something, I you're gonna have to listen to it some other time. <laughs> but um, I do hope you enjoy this build. You can download it off the gallery. My ID is the same as my YouTube name, so Evidence Sims. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.